And more breaking news, the statewide virtual charter school board makes history by approving the application for a publicly funded religious charter school. Two News Oklahoma's Shay Smith is following today's new developments and reaction that's coming in. Shay? Aaron, this online school would be the nation's first ever publicly funded religious charter school. Now the meeting ahead of today's vote lasted nearly three hours and ultimately the board voted three to two to approve the application from the Catholic Archdiocese of Oklahoma City, establishing the St. Isidore of Seville Virtual School as an online public charter school. Religious teachings would be embedded into the school courses. As a publicly funded charter, it would be funded by taxpayers' dollars, something several people disagree with because of the first clause in the Bill of Rights. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. However, supporters of the approval say religious schools cannot be excluded from charter funding because they are religious. We hope the statewide virtual charter school board members will not disregard the oath that they took to uphold the Oklahoma Constitution and the laws of the state. Publicly funding religious education forces taxpayers to pay for religious instructions that may not align with their own beliefs. So it's clear to me that, that as a constitutional law scholar, that one, uh, the state cannot deny public funding to uh, religious religious entities simply because they're religious. Oklahoma Attorney General Gentner Drummond released a statement right after the board approved the application. He says in part, the approval of any publicly funded religious school is contrary to Oklahoma law and not in the best interest of taxpayers. He went on to say it's extremely disappointing that board members violated their oath in order to fund religious schools with our tax dollars. In doing so, these members have exposed themselves and the state to potential legal action that could be very costly. Now, within just this last hour, too, the ACLU has already issued a statement saying it is ready to take legal action. Meanwhile, though, Governor Kevin Stitt applauded today's vote, calling it a win for religious liberty and education freedom here in Oklahoma. We'll continue to stay on this story as it develops. In studio, I'm Shay Smith, 2 News Oklahoma.